So the iPhone is probably one of the most popular phones on the market. A lot of times people ask me the question of whether they should get an iPhone for their child or not. And I always say, yes, you can definitely get an iPhone for your kid, but just make sure you go in and implement some of the parental features that the iPhone has in order to lock that phone down and keep it as safe as possible. So in this video, I'm actually going to go over some of those parental features you can set up on an iPhone for someone who's younger to make sure the iPhone is locked down and safe. So stick around and let the download begin. So guys, if you're new here and you want to learn how to use and troubleshoot devices, plus some other cool tech stuff we can help, all you need to do is hit that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you don't miss and release some cool, helpful content. Okay, so I guess one of the first things we're going to take a look at is some of the privacy and restrictions that you can put on the phone itself. And the easiest way to find those is to go ahead and tap on your settings button. And then you're going to tap on screen time. Now, before we go further into the screen time area, if you're setting this up for a child, when you first go into this area, it's going to ask you to designate whether the phone is for an adult or for a kid. If you hit the kid account, then it's just going to prompt you through and have you set up a password. That way, none of this content can actually be changed once you set it up. But if you're having your child use your phone here, you can actually put a passcode on it to prevent any kind of restrictions from being changed as well. So if you scroll down to the bottom here, you have the set screen time password. So by setting this up, it prevents any of the actual policies and restrictions that you're putting on the device to be changed at a later date. And you definitely want to do that if you're trying to restrict someone from doing something. So now like say you want to prevent iTunes purchases or anyone from buying iTunes things on your phone itself. You would again hit the settings. You're going to go into the screen time and you're going to tap content and privacy. And then if you look on this list here, you see iTunes purchases, tab that and then you have the ability to control those options there. So you see you have the ability to stop the installation of applications. You can stop the deletion of applications. You can stop in-app purchases as well. And then you can set the password requirements for making purchases. So you can actually have kind of a free reign of controlling the different purchase settings. And again, this is if you don't want anybody kind of adding money to your bill anonymously without you knowing. So now let's say you want to actually stop the built-in app features for the iPhone. So you want to stop mail safari facetime those built-in app features that are on the iphone itself you just want to cut those off if you go into your settings you go into the privacy and content restrictions and you have the allowed apps option here so if you tap on the allowed apps option it brings up all the built-in apps that come with the iPhone, anything from FaceTime to mail to CarPlay. Now, the only thing you can't stop is the SMS that's going to work. Text messages is not an application of the phone itself. It's a function of your data and network plan. So they can't stop that. But you can stop the FaceTime. You can stop the camera. You can basically just go through the list and disable any of the built-in apps that you don't want that person to have access to. Now, bear in mind, a lot of these features, you don't have to implement everything. You can kind of pick and choose what you want to implement on the phone itself. I'm going to make sure to link to an Apple doc in the description of this video that you can kind of go to and see all the features that are available because I'm not covering all of them in this video. And then you can just choose which ones to implement for your child. The iPhone itself also comes with a rating system and this basically rates the different content that people watch. So if it's rated R, PG-13, you can actually set the phone to stop those particular pieces of content from being playing. So you can actually set the phone for a rating system. And once that rating system is exceeded, the phone won't play that content. So the easiest way again to get to this is you're going to hit the settings. You're going to go into screen time. You're going to go into the content and privacy restrictions, and then you're going to hit the content restriction. And then under your allowed content here, you have your ratings you can set by region, and then you have your different content you can set there. So you can set clean and that's usually from PG 13 back and explicit is R and up. And then if if you go into the actual movie section, you can set the different allowed. You can allow all movies or you can allow up to a certain point. So you hit it R, it stops at whatever you tap. So if you tap R, all of these are available up to R. If you tap PG-13, all of these are available up to PG-13 and nothing beyond. And then you can kind of just go down to the list. You have TV shows, books, and even apps. 
So you can kind of just run the gamut and set up any kind of parental blocks that you want on any of the specific pieces of content somebody may consume on the iPhone. Now you can even do this for specific websites. So again, if you go into settings, you go into content and privacy restrictions, you go into content restrictions here and you have your web content down here. So you can actually, and this is only for Safari, unfortunately. So if you are using a different browser, that's a workaround around this, but you can prevent the installation of different browsers. That way they can only use the Safari browser and from that point you can then control what kind of websites they can go to in the Safari browser. You have your content restriction access there and then you have your different options to set up there. So explicit language and web search content and then you can just kind of set the settings of the web searches that they can do on the iPhone. So again just a little bit more granular in the restrictions that you're placing on a specific account. Now bear in mind you want to make sure you implement these steps prior to handing over the phone. Sometimes when an account account is already set up in the phone as an administrator, it's hard to switch over. It becomes a little bit more difficult to do some of the restrictions without them having the ability to change it back once the phone is handed over with their Apple ID already installed on the phone, but it's not impossible. So make sure you go through this list, make sure you find out what works for you and what you want to implement for safety reasons. All right, so if you guys have any kind of troubleshooting or how to request videos you want for the iPhone, go ahead and share that in the comment section below this video. Until then guys, you can check out this video here it's going to be our gift buying guide for an iPhone user and this is something that YouTube believes you'd enjoy watching. I thank you so much for checking out the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe with that bell for notification so you don't miss when we release some cool helpful content like this one. Until next time guys. Peace.